Okay, in this next demonstration, I'm going to show you how to make your gusset plates to reinforce all the joints on your truss. So this is obviously done after the gluing process and everything is dried. And you've also removed all your pins that were holding the members in place while the glue was drying. So basically what a gusset is, is a brace or a support that will be used to hold a joint together and make it stronger. Commonly used in bridges and buildings and any structure that requires uh, structural strength. So what we're gonna be using to make our gussets with is this cardboard paper. It's a, it's a thick type of paper and it allows us to easily cut with a pair of scissors, okay? So what we wanna do is we wanna make a gusset plate that will reinforce every one of the joints on our truss. So the first one I'll work on is this one here in the corner. And basically what, what I've prepared is strips of this cardboard paper. So what you can do is you can just simply lay it across the area where you're gonna make a gusset for. And then you can use a pen or a pencil or a marker, really doesn't matter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna line this up with the top edge of our truss. And I'm just gonna basically go on the outside of this line here to give me the contour of the outside edge of my truss. And then I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna follow my line that I, that I drew, okay? I might wanna trim it down a little bit. It was a little bit long to begin with. Okay, I can even make it a little bit shorter because I don't need it to be this long, okay? So once I have this design here, you'll notice that it will be a perfect fit and a custom fit for this top corner, okay? And what happens here is this is gonna get glued on in place for one entire side. And then when you're done with that side, you can take this off of your board, okay? Flip it over so that these gusset plates are facing down. And then you can work on the other side because gusset plates need to be on both sides of this truss in order to provide the strength that we're looking for. So let me show you a few more examples. I'm gonna lay this across the next one. And I'm going to follow that line there. And I'm gonna come all the way over here and follow this line here. Okay, I'm gonna take my scissors. Trim that down. And this next one should fit nicely right in there. It's a little bit oversized, so I'm going to trim it down a little bit further. Okay, that should be a nicer custom fit, just like this, okay? So when you are ready to glue this, what you're going to do is you're going to apply the glue on the wood, because if you apply the glue to the back side of the gusset plate, not everything is going to have glue on it back in here. So what you'll end up with is glue that's just dripping down onto the board and that's not necessary. So we'll apply the glue to the wood all the way throughout and then we'll place our gusset plate on top. There's one more joint that I want to show you and that's the one in the middle here. Okay, so what you'll want to do is, and I can use this angle that I've already created on this side and I'll just create another line coming out this way. Again, I will cut that with the scissors. Check it for size, because you can always trim them down. Okay, but that seems to be just a little bit long. I'll trim it down just a little more. Okay, and then what I have here is a perfect fit. So you can see how the gussets are going to be uh, assembled and placed. Okay, now in order to save yourself some time, Every time you make a gusset plate, you have to understand that you're gonna need an exact duplicate to go on the other side. So if you wanted to, you could actually just take the strip of paper and then take your gusset plate, place it on top, trace it and cut it out, 
and that way you have a, an entire second set of gussets for the opposite side. But again, it's very important to understand after you glue these on on one side, to put it on a flat surface like a desk and then maybe even put some weight on it for a little while. So if I wanted to uh, say all the gusset plates were on, I could then flip it over, place a book or a Chromebook on top of this for about five minutes and then I'd be ready to go. But I also just wanna show you what a finished example would look like. Here is something that would be completed with gusset plates on all the outside joints, okay? Best of luck.